scale. We want to set the gravity scale by the character up vector times negative 740 to float maybe let's see why that would work that won't work because it's just printing out or it's just multiplying a float scale it's not getting the actual up vector or the or the the direction of the gravity yeah that won't work um, after preferences <clears throat> excuse me I have yet to figure out how this would work. So if anyone ever figures out through blueprints um, solely, I don't want to mess with C++ for this, I'm trying to figure out through blueprints how they would um, how they would set up a changing gravity to where the, the gravity changes with the character's negative up vector so that it's constantly pushing down on them. Um, I would be very interested in, in seeing someone um, be able to figure that out and I'm going to continue trying in the meantime because this one it's very interesting to me that I have yet to be able to figure that out hmm. so I've been doing this for damn almost two years now actually for for blueprints specifically god I've been, in, been doing this for a while nice and hopefully, I will eventually one day figure out what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> um, yeah, so do we have any questions at the moment? Um, I don't really have... I, I expected that to actually take longer than it did. Uh, otherwise, I might go start at least trying to put together the main menu code for the RPG template. Um, I'm probably going to call it quits here soon for the evening since I didn't have too much planned. Um, but yeah, that's that's cool. Th this works, and that is fantastic to me. I am so happy this actually worked. Because um, now we could actually create modular pieces that you know you could move to all kinds of different things. You know, be like, oh well, you got this here, and I wonder if this will work. I have no idea if this is going to work. Hey, Warka! I am going to, I'm going to try this, despite the fact that I don't think this is actually going to work. I'm just working on the same thing we were working on uh, last week, the, the wall climb mechanic here. I'm wondering... Oh, 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 yeah, see, that's what I was what I was thinking would happen. Because I don't have it set up to where if you walk forward, or, you know, doing, like, a sphere check or anything, or, like, this, it doesn't, it doesn't like corners. So that's good to know. But we actually got it working to where it is not um, it is not actually crashing anymore when we walk on the wall. So we're, we're on, we are on the wall, and we can walk over multiple overlaps and everything like that. Now there there are a few problems obviously with this, um, and it's something I'll look at eventually, figure out exactly why it's doing this. Um, might have to do a like if actor is more than you know like 70 units away from wall push them to the wall or something like that because the main thing is making sure you stay actually against the wall 
instead of moving away from it. Oop. But it does work. You did it! Okay, so we're going to go ahead and while we are waiting for questions and whatnot, I'm going to go ahead and start working on um, putting together the look of the main menu. I'm probably not going to get all of the functionality together today, but we can at least get it ready and uh, rearing to go because I am looking forward to actually getting everything f completely done on this um, on this whole project and for those of you who uh, I actually have not had a chance to play Vase, Ex Vase Escape this past weekend uh, work I, ha I got like super crazy busy um, dealing with a lot of stuff personally and that just it got in the way of everything but um, we can play some tonight before I uh, before I get off um, anyways so these are the things we've been working on we've got a random like race class selection system here um, we can actually randomize it like this or we can manually select hit finalize and we've got um, working shield health energy minimap We've got a uh, nice little menu here for like a pause menu, and we can't actually do anything when we're not, or when we're in the pause menu. Um, hit cancel on that. We've got a character sheet here uh, that's kind of overly large because I haven't actually scaled it properly. <laughs> um, save menu, which does work. And then let's see. We can increase and decrease stats. When we close this, it actually will will save the the data that we did here. If we do level up, <sighs> gotta get. Come on. There we go. So if we hit these, it actually unlocks different abilities. Oh, there we go. And then if we hit this, it resets and gives us all of our points back. So, pretty cool little skill tree. It's a very generic skill tree, and um, something I plan on working on in the future is actually coming up with multiple ways to do skill trees. Um, I'm very, I'm very interested in in figuring out how to set these up properly, how to get them completely functional, so that different RPG games can have different styles of skill trees. And like, once I get through that, then for me, balance is a huge thing. I'm I'm very interested in in game balance and uh, making sure everything's like there there aren't things that are gonna completely break the game and stuff like that. So I'm very interested in stuff like that. Um, we also have health regen, energy regen, uh, shield regen, which that health regen should there it goes. Uh, this should pick it up. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's it's slower because we have a lot of health, but it does work. Um, these we never actually did anything with, and I'm probably just going to take them off the the thing here. Saving in structures. Um, actually, you, you bring up a uh, one thing that I do need to get done. Um, no, no, we are not. Um, the the stuff that we're using was generic. Um, I put together just a few abilities and put booleans. But what I do need to get done is in the RPG controller, I need to make sure I save all of that data um, in our save game tree. So we have has jump, has, 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 has. Okay. Um, we are loading whether or not we have it. That's cool. Um, do, 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 trying to think. We'll need to get the percentages and pass them to the save game structure as well. And then on load game, pass that information back. That won't be too difficult. Okay. Anyways, let's get on to our main menu. 
material user interface widget main or what's called start menu there we go we are actually going to take this and make it the full thing here and we need to give it clear that we'll make it dark green that's gonna be our main menu yay Boom, and we'll just type RPG template. Dramatic. And let's see, actually, I'm going to anchor that in the center. Position 0, 0. Um, then 1. Oops. One, no, I need that to be point five. Okay, two point two five, maybe. Mm. There, boom. This, of course, anchor center. That needs to be in the back, this needs to be in the front. We're going to set uh, several buttons, which anchor 0, 0, 0. 0.5. Uh, let's go with 1.5. Seriously. Anchor center. And then we'll do text. Make it thirty two. New game. Then all right, seven forty, one hundred point five. Oops. Anchor center point five. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, good enough. Okay, let's see. Is okay in blueprints use structures inside structures? Um you can use structures inside of structures. I think there's a couple there might be a couple bugs with it, but um I, I do believe you should be able to do that just fine. Um, unfortunately, I don't I don't have an answer offhand on that one. Um, let's see, continue. Oh, it's 740, isn't it? Yeah. 